It was another spectacular night in track and field at the Olympic Stadium, crowned by a world record for the American women in the 4 by 100 metres relay. Uh, Australia's main interest was Steve Hooker, of course. A uh, lot of excitement about him after a, a good leap in qualifying on Wednesday, but unfortunately Michael Gleeson, the Yips all came back tonight in the final. Yeah, well, the Yips, I suppose, Greg, look, he, he didn't get off the ground um, in any meaningful way, so you'd have to say yes. He, he insisted that he felt good. Look, he, he, he passed at his first height, 550. He came in at 565. There were nine guys in a row that all, all failed at that height. It was a bit tricky at the time. He did get off the ground twice, he, he, but he aborted sort of mid-jump. And, in, and the other one he ran through. So that was his night. Look, it was an unlikely sort of bid from the start c- coming from where he did. Uh, but he finally, you know, he did get it together enough to, to get himself through to the final. Uh, he probably ran out of time. Like, I think that the Olympics were on him probably a month or two too soon, given where he was coming from and where he was trying to get mm. to. To get to a final was probably as good as he could have hoped. Le Villeneuve that won, he's been the best jumper for two years. He's jumped an Olympic record to win, so absolutely deserving winner. For, for Hooker, he's incredibly proud of himself for where he's come from. Bittersweet that, you know, yes, I got there, but, you know, I'm out. And an eventful night in other ways, too, because in the middle of all that, he was <laughs> watching and urging his girlfriend in the uh, 1500 metres final. Yeah, Carter was running in the, uh, the 1500 for Russia, and uh, he was, again, inside the track and able to be like, you know, mum at little athletics and 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 boosting her along as she as she went unfortunately you know she she probably didn't run as well as as uh she she could and as well as she would have liked she finished ninth but uh yeah he he said he actually felt more gutted for her than himself tonight because of the work that she's put in as well to get there not a fruitless night night entirely for australia uh australia has a place in the four by 100 meters Relay, final uh, tomorrow night, and that will be against Usain Bolt on the Jamaicans. Yeah, I don't think they're going to win that one, given the uh, Jamaicans did to get the trifecta in the 100 sprint. But, yeah, it, it was a fantastic effort from, from Australia. And, and certainly down to Josh Ross, probably more than anyone. Uh, he was the guy that felt aggrieved that he wasn't allowed to run the, uh, the 100 sprint individual. Um, he was in the, the, um, the relay, of course, and felt that the discretionary pick should have been his to, to be allowed to run the 100 and he felt that he could have got through to a semi or possibly even the final um he ran pretty angry and said he had a point to prove and look he really carried them home he 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 folded in some of the guys that had run in the semis in the 100 individual so there's some satisfaction there for him that you know like steve hooker i suppose a bit bittersweet that he knows that he can run fast he knows that he could have mixed it with those guys at least at that level the other highlight of the night was uh, as we mentioned earlier the american women winning the uh, four by 100, 100 metres final in a world record time, breaking a record that was set in Canberra 27 years ago. Well, of course it would be. I mean, out of all the great records set in Canberra, <laughs> that is just extraordinary. That, and I think, as you uh, rightly point out in the paper, it's, uh, it was uh, at, a, at a very different time and there would be some satisfaction amongst uh, IAAF officials that finally they, those sorts of tainted records from the, from the 80s during the, uh, the ugly drug period... Um, are now starting to be overtaken. And uh... on, on the same night at Bruce Stadium, uh, Marika Koch, who was a great uh, East German runner, but, but performed all her career under, under a cloud of suspicion. Uh, in the same meet, she set the 400 metres individual record, and it still stands. The Americans are having a terrific track and field meet. With any luck tomorrow, they'll end up with their best ever medals haul at an Olympic track and field. But it hasn't been good for all of them. Uh, and it was quite disastrous tonight for one of their stars. Yeah, Morgan Yusini tumbled uh, in the 1500 with, uh, with a lap to go. And uh, there was no consoling her. She was on the track still when the, the, right, the field had come home for the final lap. She was still on her hands and knees and, and in tears. And, uh, yeah, it was, um, you know, she was one of the favoured runners to, to do well in that race, so it was really disappointing for her. Truck and field ends tomorrow, uh, but it's going to be with a bang, not a whimper. Yeah, well, firstly, it's not, not so much on the track as on the road for Australia. We've got um, Jared Talent in the, uh, the 50k walk in the morning, and he's a very strong chance of medalling. He's medalled, you know, in Daegu. He's, he's a very good 50k walker. Two, two medals in Beijing as well. Yeah, so. yeah. And his wife walks in the 20k walk in the, uh, in the evening. She's probably less uh, expected to medal, but she's uh, certainly looking to be a, you know, a top 
10 finisher. So that's, you know, during the day. And then out at the track tomorrow night, of course, we've got Josh Ross and the, uh, and the 4x100 team. We've got Usain Bolt out there again. We've got Mo Farah running to see if he can double it up. So it's still a very, very big night before we, uh, we have the marathon on the last day. It'll be sad to see the end of this track and field meet. We've got to say that. 